Hi guys, it's Sugan. Welcome back to another video today. Let's talk about some five star predictions that I have for 2022 or 2023, but let's hope that I read this in 2022. So I have 10 books that I predict it can be five stars. It can be five stars for many reasons, it can be for reviews that I've heard before or from people that I really trust, something like that. Let's go through the box, okay, very easily and a little bit quickly i will not say synopsis i will not say uh i will say more what the book is hyped for me you know and why i think it could be a five star first one is sort of kaigen and this one is a very tricky one because it's part of this world but you can read as a standalone it's very popular on booktube but what catch me here is that we follow um middle age so an older woman and older protagonist and i really like that on fantasy you know f leaving up the young characters and following up a grown mother i think she's a mother and she, you know she has a she's older i know she's definitely older but i think she's also a mother and i think those interesting aspects of her personality of her being already a mother and more mature could be very interesting in the fantasy novel while usually when you follow teenagers or young adults or even I would say young adults like before 30 they don't have responsibilities they don't have almost um, nothing to lose you know they say of oh I can lose my family my friends but this one you have a bound you have children and you know mothers and fathers are very willing to do anything for the children so I think this one would be very interesting I liked the concept the reviews have been great so definitely I think this will be a five star the second projection I will make and this I would say well, it's between the book and the series so it can be the book being five star or the series itself as a whole because this is part of a series and it's the poppy war by araf kwan and this was this specifically this one was gifted by jojo and Bia, uh the second by tanakord and the third by cat so i have the series the three the whole series was gifted so it's very special and they said um they were very excited to give me because they believe i would love so this follows the poppy war and so it's a historical event that really happened but this is in the fantasy world so the, i believe this has to do with elemental magic from what i've heard um the characters are very interesting i don't know much about it i i like i said i don't like to know more about books i like to discover during the novel but i know it has uh, is a war and it has very I believe the first one is more a training not tr totally training montage but it's more a setup and it has a very interesting lore magic uh the characters are very interesting and this is definitely one of the books that i'm very excited to read and it's going to be a january read as you know so i probably have my review here or still to go now for a first thriller five star prediction i have is the whispering man by alex north so first this edition it's stunning the edition gets five star all right now why i believe this is going to be a five star my goddess of thrillers gave it five star so i totally believe in her when she gives a book five star and the description it's amazing uh, i will read it for you so you can know what this is about Still devastated after the loss of his wife, Tom Kennedy and his young son Jake move into a, sleep, a sleepy village of Feather Bank looking for a fresh start. But Feather Bank has a dark past. Fifteen years ago, a twisted serial killer abducted and murdered five boys until he, was finally, until he was finally caught, the killer as known as the Whisperer Man. Of course, an old crime needs no trouble, Tom and Jack has tried to settle into their new home except now another boy has gone missing and jack begins acting strangely he says he hears a whispering at his window so you see i love this i love serial killers definitely one of the tropes in thrillers that i really enjoy that i really like um you know i like this mystery and i think this was what was missed in the shadow man was because since we know from the beginning how the person is i believe this maybe not and i love this you know serial killers and he's locked so maybe he's not locked a copycat i don't know i'm very excited one of the other predictions that i think i'll give five star this one is a whole time favorite a whole time favorite for booktube booktalk bookstagram 
everyone loves the author I haven't read anything and it's The Nightingale by Christian Hanna I haven't read anything by the author I really want to pick a Christian Hanna book The Nightingale, Grenalone and All the Four Winds are one of the most recommended so I, I got The Nightingale I was supposed to read it with Bia probably we will sometime and I Although I don't like books about are set in World War II, not one of the topics that I'm most interested about, I feel this one could be very good and a very five star. Everyone loves it, everyone cries. I'm feeling emotional this year, I don't know why. So probably it's gonna conquer me. Um, it's a story about two sisters who I think they live in Paris, but then when the, world, the Second World War starts, they grew apart, so and they have to live through the war I think it's going to be a very emotional one probably a very heartful you know this this part of history is very dense and very dark and it's very emotional so I think I'm probably going to give it a four star but it's on the list to be a five star because everyone loves it probably I'm going to love it or not let's see this is easy peasy probably a five star and it's the girl in ice uh, the girl in the ice by Robert Brinza why do I say this I love Rodden Brisbane's books. I read the three books on the Kate Marshall series. I gave five stars, four stars, and five stars to the books. This one is not different. This is the first one on the Erica Foster series. It is now written the seventh, I believe. It's going to be released in 2022. So I'm trying to catch up with Robert Brinsley's books. And since I had some great experience with the author, not having like too much, um, too much paper on the middle when I say this is like you don't have those useless and like why are you telling me this if you're not going to use you know he's very fast in the plot he just goes straight to the point where he wants to tell his story and I really liked it um yeah I'm really excited to pick this one and probably a five star because by till now Robert did not let me down so it's gonna have a very high stake this is an author that I've read I really enjoyed the book half of it the first half was a little bit boring although a lot of people loved it and it was Gone Girl and this one is Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. Um, this is the cover from the series with Amy Adams. Um, why do I think it could be a five star? First it's smaller than Gone Girl. For me the problem with Gone Girl is that the first part is so slow and it's so normal from the rest of the books that I feel like mm, you know and the second part, it was the most interesting one and it was what I liked the most and was what increased a lot of book. But from the, because I had that first part, I could not give five star. And I believe this being so small and knowing Gillian Flynn now, I believe this could be a, a, definitely a five star. Um, it's about a woman who has like cutting problems. She's like, you know, likes to cut herself. And she has also drinking problems, I believe. So it's a very problematic family and very problematic um, characters, which I really enjoy. So I'm really excited to pick this book up and yeah, read it and probably give it five stars. This is also a thriller and is The Howl Always Hunt at Night by Samuel Bjork. This is the author of I'm Traveling Alone. I gave that book five stars. That book is amazing. And Lorena already read it and Dora already read it. I don't remember Dora. I think she did not she did not give five stars but Lorena really loved the book um I think we are not losing time setting up characters on that on this one so it's things gonna be interesting but it's a mystery thriller you know he, you have Mia Kruger which is a psychologist which is has her own problems we have uh, München who is also having has problems in their lives and they are trying to solve this murder I don't know which murder is this one you know but it's usually serial killers and it's what I like and I I like so much the first one I got the second and I also got the third which I don't see if you can see yes you can see it's here the boy in the headlights so probably it's gonna be a five star because of the first one let's see this fantasy is I got it second hand on my bookshop my only english bookshop and it's the fifth season by nk jemison why do i believe this is going to be five star i don't know i heard so much about this this book i heard um how everything is the ending of the world and everything going about ending the world the magic system from all the reviews that i read all this everything like that book sounds amazing that book sounds awesome and i probably 
because of hearing people that I trust and people that I know that it's from listening what they rave about this book, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna give this five star definitely. So I'm really excited. The fifth season, it's one of my picks. Last two books. First one, I had to put a Jodie and it's The Pact by Jodie Pico. This is an older book from her. I don't know when this was released, but I don't believe it was in the 90s. Uh, 1998. So it's one of the oldest, and the pact follows uh, to a boy and a girl who, who are saying that they did a suicide pact. So in the midnight calls comes in from the hospital, no one is prepared. Emily is dead at 17 from a gunshot wound to, a, to the head inflicted by Chris as part of a parent suicide pact. He tells the police the next bull was meant for himself. A local detective has her doubts and the heart and the, goal, and the goals must face every parent's worst nightmare in question. Do we really know our children at all? So it sounds amazing. I know this murder pact and why they are doing that. It was really a murder pact. It's a busy relationship. Were they connected? Were they friends? No, I'm I'm really like Jody. I really trust Jody. So I had to include a Jody. I have a ton of there, but this one, I don't know. It ring my bell while I was doing the list. I was like, you know, this will be the Jody book that I think I'll give five stars. Finally, one of the books that most people rave about, everyone loves it, even Daniel Green loved it and put it on, on one of the best of the year, if not the best at all, was The Song of Achilles by Madeleine Miller. This beautiful edition was gifted by Joanne B. Uh, again, I don't like to say when people give me books because, you know, it's a, give a little shout out. And this, I know, is a story of Achilles and Patroclus, a reimagine of the Greek tales in a very interesting twist. Madeleine Miller is a very well-known and loved author. She's done the Kirky or the Cersei um, book, also very loved. She's now doing, I think it's a Persephone um, retelling. And I don't know, I, from what I've seen, I really, I'm really into mythology. I'm really into retellings. I'm really into relationships like this. So probably it's going to be a five star. So these are the 10 books or the nine plus the ebook. I'm planning to give five stars. Um, tell me in the comments which book do you think I'll give five stars? Which book do I think is gonna love it? Um, any other book do you think I'll love it? Re recommend me. I love receive recommendations from books. What books do you think will give five stars from this list? You haven't read it. I would love to discuss with that in the comments. If you reach this far, don't forget to leave a comment, like, subscribe. It's very important for the channels um, to support them and to help the algorithm promoting our channels. Also, I created a Ko-fi. There is a way to help the channel in another ways. I also have affiliate links for Book Depository, Blackwells and Waterstones if you want to use it. It doesn't have any cost and you know it's always helping me producing more content and getting more content for you. I also have a wish list if you want to send me something. I post videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. I have live reading sprints on Fridays 9pm GTM if you want to join as a co-host or as a part of the audience and let's read and start the weekend being productive. I see you guys on my next video. Bye!